50 um, and we're going to do um, like we've done before with our cable cast on we're going to cast on 10 stitches before we start so just a quick reminder and um, of course we have got that standalone cable cast on video if that's helpful to you but I'm just putting my needle in as if to knit normally um, and rather than take the stitch off at this point I'm going to just um, um, extend that loop a bit and twist and put it on the end of my needle so I've created one new stitch there now for the rest of the um, cast on stitches I'm going to put my needle between the first two stitches on the needle wrap the yarn as normal and again pull that loop out and put on the end of the needle and that's all I'm going to do all the way along so um, I'm going to cast on 10 stitches like that so that's number two three and so on Okay, so there's my 10 new stitches. Um, and what we're gonna do now is put um, another little stitch marker at this end. Okay, this is gonna be for left lower leg hind leg crease. <laughs> Hang on, left lower hind leg crease marker. So I am getting through my, uh, what are these called, safety pins here, but please, as I said, Feel free to just loop a bit of coloured yarn through. So it's just a, so you know where to aim for when you're making some bits and bobs as we work down the line. It's nothing, it doesn't have to be anything other than an indicator. So however you choose to indicate, that's absolutely fine. Right, cast on 10 and I'm now going to knit those as well as six more stitches. So knitting 16 stitches in total. Okay, so that's... Um, I've knit all those new cast on stitches plus sort of six that were already there and I'm now ready to, to do my decrease, my slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over and then I will finish the kind of the other half if you like of this row um, and that's all that's interesting if you like in in, in uh, row 50. So I'm going to finish row 50 and uh, see you at the beginning of 51. Okay, so I've just finished row 50 um, and I'm going to turn my work ready for row 51. Um, so normally we would just be purling, but we've got special instructions on row 51 because we're going to do the same thing as we've just done, which is to say cast on 10 stitches. And I'm not doing anything differently even though it's a purl row, I'm still doing that first um, knitting into the stitch and then extending the loop and then kind of going into cable cast on proper. So no different to what we've just done, even though it's on a purl side. So let me just get these 10 stitches on here and we'll take it from there. Okay, so we've just cast on our 10 extra stitches on the end of this round uh, row as well. And again, I'm going to mark this end with a, with a pin. Oops. Ow. <laughs> See? Don't use pins, use waste yarn. It's much kinder on your hands. Right, so that's all that's interesting about um, row 51. Now we're just going to purl all the way across. So I will do that and see you at the beginning now, finally, of the short rows for the hind legs. Right, so I'm here at the end of row 51 and the beginning of the short row shaping. And you can see that we have, um, again, created like this kind of t-bar type situation um, which are going to help us to or get us in the right position to start the hind legs if i show you the sample here oh all the ends so you can see this is what we've made we've made these sort of outlying uh parts here to start building these legs and we put our markers in for the little tufty tail and the little tufty tail is going to come a bit later but um so this is what we're going to be working on now and i've got it this way up because obviously this is the direction of knit and you will see again that we've got some shaping which is which is why we're going to be doing those short rows again and the wrapping and turning so nothing that you haven't done already but we'll do a quick refresher to get you on your way so short row number one, we're increasing again here, we're, which means we're casting on more 
stitches so you should be nice and refreshed on that score because we've only just done it twice so seven seven more increased stitches on here let's do that that's one two oops three four Okay, so we've got seven extra stitches on and we're going to go um, now and just knit those immediately because we're going to knit eight. So we're actually going to knit those and one more. going to wrap and turn knit wise so just a quick refresher on that if you need it so my yarn is at the back because I'm knitting I'm going to bring it through the needles to the front slip the stitch from the left to the right needle put my yarn back through the needles to the back and slip the stitch back onto the left needle so now that stitch is fully wrapped okay now I'm going to turn that's the turn part so we've done the wrap there's the turn Okay, and I'm now going to purl just one stitch and wrap and turn purl wise. So yarn is in front because I'm purling. I'm gonna put it through the needles to the back, slip the stitch from the left to the right needle, bring the yarn back through the needles to the front. So I've wrapped around that stitch and then slip the stitch back from the right needle onto the left. So that is the wrap part. And now I'm gonna turn. And that's pretty much how we're going to continue, sort of quite short um, numbers of wrapping and turning. Um, but what I would like to point out again is in this situation, you will be picking up wraps um, throughout this wrap and turn part, if that makes sense. So for example, I've now got a knit two and then wrap and turn. But if I knit the first one, um where is my there we go if i knit the first one my next stitch is already wrapped you can see it's already wrapped there just about so i've got to pick up that wrap as we've done before which is just hook my needle under it and pop it up onto the onto the left needle and i'm going to knit through the back of those of, of, of that stitch and its wrap just make sure they're both on there Okay, so that was my second stitch and now I've got to wrap this one. So just be aware that when you are wrapping and turning on this part, you may have wraps that you've got to pick up. So don't forget them, don't ignore them, just then that will keep it nice and neat, won't it? So, okay, so that was uh, knit to and pick up and I'm just gonna make sure, I think I think what it is, the last one of, of everything that you knit or purl will be the one with the wrap. Yep, so I've got a wrap stitch here to deal with. So I'm on the purl side, but this time um, with the when you've got a, a wrapped purl stitch, you pick up the wrap part that's furthest away from you, put it up onto the needle and purl the two parts together. You know all this, we've gone through all of this, so just be aware of it um, in these hind leg pieces that that is what you're going to have to um, be doing just to keep your work nice and neat so apart from that it's absolutely bog standard wrapping and turning all the way through so I shan't sit and go through all of that with you um, I will do that um, I will do this leg and then we'll have a look at it and we'll go across and uh, work the other one right I'm just at the very end of um, short row 14 and um, I've just purled 12 so far. I've got to purl 13 on this row. So the last um, purl stitch, I've got to pick up the wrap as I've been doing all the way through. So I'm going to just pick that up, purl, and then I have to wrap and turn 
this very last stitch. So just as I have been doing all the way around, nothing different just because it's the end stitch. Okay, wrapping the yarn around and um, picking the, putting the stitch back onto the left needle and turning. So I just wanted to show you that part, given that we're wrapping and turning the very last stitch. I'm sure we've done it before, but just in case. And now I'm going to, oops, I'm gonna knit all the way across uh, to the other side of the body to do the legs on the other side. Now just be aware as I work across here, there's going to be another wrapped stitch to pick up and it is just about there. You will see it much more easily on your own work because it will create a little or a bigger gap between the stitches than is normal. Um, but again, if you wanted to pop a stitch marker um, whenever you do your wrap stitch, pop, pop a stitch marker on so that you'll know where, where you get to before you've got to sort of worry about picking up when you're coming back the other way. That's totally fine. And it is a little tricky to see them with this furry yarn. So no hardship or shame in using a stitch marker if you need to. So here it is. I've got to that wrapped stitch right there. That's the last one I need to pick up or worry about for, for this row. Okay, let's just have a little look that gorgeous top of the leg you can sort of see the shaping can't you if I hold it like that short rows and wrapping and turning is possibly my new favorite thing which is amazing because I've just eaten a Cadbury's cream egg so that can just show you how great this really is okay so I'm going to go all the way across to the other side of the body and I'll see you there in a minute Okay, so I am all the way across to the other side of the body and I'm now going to start um, short rows to shape the right hind leg. So I'm starting on the pearl side and we're going to work this in exactly the same way. The only difference being that we're starting on the pearl side where we were um, starting on the knit side before. So I'll just get you going on that um, with casting on and, and then it will be very very familiar I think so casting on seven stitches again no different because we're on a pearl side one. okay so I've now I've, um, cast on seven stitches I'm going to purl eight and start the wrapping and turning so um, I don't like I said it is exactly the same as before so we're just do a couple of them and then off you go. Right, so I've purled eight, two, four, six and eight and I'm now gonna wrap and turn the next stitch. So yarn goes to the, no, yes, yarn goes to the back, pick up the stitch, or sorry, slip it from left to right, yarn goes to the front, put the stitch back on from right to left. So there's my first wrapped stitch and now I'm going to turn and just in case you are joining here I'm sure you've done this on the other leg but don't forget when you're coming back in the other direction to pick up your wraps as you go okay and from then from now it's exactly the same as what you've what you've done previously so I'm going to finish up um, this leg and I'll see you at the at the end Right, we've now got the tops of both legs shaped beautifully and um, we're ready to continue further down the back. So if you look, um, we've created those sort of hump parts at the top of the legs and we can now carry on working all the way down the lower back um, with without any kind of um interesting or worrisome or um difficulty there's no difficult pieces now we're just doing our straight knitting and decreasing so i'm not going to go through that i don't think that's necessary so i will see you at the end of where are we let's say row 65 <laughs> 